great modernist heresy that somehow somebody has sold us is that God is asleep. He's not asleep. It was Father Bob who said that uh, the church is like uh, a sleeping giant waiting to be unleashed. He could preach like no one else. And then there's all the conversions that are just almost countless. He was preaching new evangelization before the word even became popular. I was urging them to give their lives to the Lord in a way that people in the rank and file Catholic Church today have not been encouraged to do. Every time Bob Bedard shared, whether it was on television or in a meeting or one to one, you saw his heart. People loved him. God doesn't want you and I to apologize to the world for who we are. God wants us to move ahead in the victory that he's called us to live in. Renewal is God's idea, not ours. For me, the main grace of the Spirit in his life was the conversions. They experienced the Father's love through Father Bob. He would often say, if it would advance the kingdom of God and the salvation of souls, he would roll a peanut with his nose down Bank Street. He was willing to do the ridiculous to see the miraculous. There's no shortage of little miracles that surrounded him. I remember one lady, she had a serious health condition, and she had this idea that if I can only touch his garment, maybe I'll be healed. And she, she touched his garment and she was healed. I can see so many qualities in him that suggest to me that he could be a saint one day. He was a father like no other. I believe people will look back at him and say he was a prophet. can't deny what has happened through this man and the legacy of it. Give God permission. How many of us are ready here in this place to let God do what he wants to do?